finally added the new race v4 awakenings let's freaking go guys so now let's rank all of them in our tier list but before we hop into it make sure you guys drop a like if we get this video to 2.1k likes uh we'll be doing a free robux giveaway so make sure you guys like the video comment down your username and hit the subscribe button to enter and you guys might see some robux in your inventory very soon let's go all right i made my very own tier list yo we got some sus images all right first up guys we have uh human v1 bro human v1 does nothing man what's the point all right next up we have mink v1 now mink v1 <laughs> it's a rabbit guys i know i know mink v1 is actually pretty good we're gonna give it i'd say I'd say C tier, man. M Mink speed is very, very useful. Actually, probably D tier. It's very, very useful, but it's very, very easy to get. All right, next up, we have Shark, guys. Shark, uh, it eliminates water damage, which isn't that great. Um, it It's kind of mid. I'd probably go like this, guys. I'd probably pass on this one, to be honest. Bro, Angel sucks, bro. You get an extra jump. Extra jumps, bro. Oh, my gosh. I'm probably going to have to give Angel V1 D tier. Cyborg gives more defense, which is honestly not that bad. I'm gonna give Cyborg a solid, solid C tier. That's pretty nice. Ghoul has Life Leech, which is pretty sweet. So honestly, I'd probably say Ghoul is another one of the ones I recommend. We'll give it easily C tier. All right, that's just for the V1. All right, next up we have Ray, a Human V2. <laughs> you guys want to know, bro? Oh my gosh, guys. Human V2 still works, bro. It's the, you get the buff and it's still I don't I, I don't even get it, bro. You still get the buff. It, it's just ridiculous, man. You get the buff even though you change rates. I don't even get it, man. All right, I messed up, guys. You don't actually get regen, but you do get um extra speed and increased regen, but you don't get life leech, I mean. Uh you get life leech in V2 which is pretty freaking sweet. It's 25% of the damage done, which is busted. And it also helps with, um, even helps for farming as well. All right, V3 gives you the heightened senses ability. Um, basically, it allows you to use skills that are still on cooldown as well as buff everything. It's pretty busted, guys. I'm gonna probably give Ra um, Ghoul V3 A tier. Definitely a highly, highly recommended race to have in Blocks Fruits. Human V2 okay so not all the buffs technically but uh yeah honestly though it, it is slightly better than v1 but a lot of the buffs i do believe actually happen so it, it's technically slightly better but i don't i would not use v2 but if you do get it to v3 which is actually pretty easy for um humans you will get <clears throat> last resort which is a decent ability i'm gonna give it like c tier like i i don't think anybody should be rocking with human unfortunately so it's kind of a hard pass in my opinion all right next up we got mink we'll go through the two minks real quick mink is definitely one of the best races everybody goes for mink it's pretty busted all right so v2 it increases your speed even more as well as increases your dash length slightly so basically makes you super super speedy which is super useful for pvp and pretty much everything uh, agility is the ability isn't the greatest it does make you go completely wild with the speed as well as it helps a lot of other things so it is definitely slightly better it is a good race to have um just good overall and super fast especially if you have like the pilot helm shark or fish man i should say is the old race name um is actually not it's not too too terrible all right so shark v2 is going to give you increased player speed in water all right not bad at all and completely removes the water damage so uh, i don't recommend this one it's a hard pass v3 gives you water body basically it just is pretty busted it basically makes you almost invincible for 6.5 seconds so it's actually a pretty decent one um i'm gonna give it like uh i'll give it b tier i don't really recommend it but it's pretty good uh, i'd still rather go with mink or ghoul not many people run angel but maybe now more so after v4s um let's see here angel 2 basically makes you jump higher yeah it, it basically makes you jump higher man like i'd honestly just say it is technically slightly better than uh v1 but just please no all right v3 has a nice ability that get, increases defense and heals you as well so it's actually a pretty decent one i'm gonna give it b tier i definitely still rather have ghoul and uh mink slash rabbits 
All right, Cyborg Race is another very, very good one. However, this is one of the ones you have to like pay for. Or you have actually have to unlock. Um, basically increases defense against melee sword and gun attacks as well as it converts your the damage you take into energy, which is pretty cool. So the V2 is definitely... Oh, I didn't download the V2. All right, I didn't put the V2. All right, and we're back. So here we go, guys. V2. Oh, why did I put that there? All right, I didn't mean to put that there. Anyways, V2 is a decent race, decent um, race to have as well. It does give you those. So I'm going to give it probably... Uh, it's decent. I don't know if I would personally use it, but it's actually pretty cracked. Energy core is also pretty good as well. It increases your defense, which is very nice, as well as it does like some AOE damage. It's really good for farming, so I'm going to give it A tier. A ton of people use it for farming. All right, now it's time for the ones you've all been waiting for, guys. Let's go over the new race V4s and update 18 of Blocks Fruits. All right, we have Ghoul. So Ghoul gives you like an AOE crow attack. It also like it makes it so the other players can't see what you look like. So this is what it looks like, guys, from the official showcase. So you can like barely, the opposing players can't really see you, aiding you in PvP. Bro, how does man get to this level? What the frick? It also gives life leech as well. So guys, it is actually meta for farming as well with that life regen. However, it's definitely a very, very good PvP race to have. So Ghoul, definitely one of the better ones of the new race V4s. Next up, we have Cyborg. It has like this damaging dash ability right here. He also has like this AoE damage attack as well that disables instinct too, which is pretty sweet. And the damage is also AoE. So you can basically take out tons and tons of NPCs very easily. However, in my opinion, Cyborg is more of a farming one, all right? You can definitely still use it for PvP, obviously, but it's definitely geared more towards farming. I'd rather have Ghoul instead. All right, Shark has a slow effect, so basically you make the enemy slower. He also has this shield ability, basically allowing him to take zero damage, which is pretty sweet. So honestly, that's actually a pretty sweet ability. So I definitely think it's going to be more geared towards PvP versus farming all right i don't even know if it's gonna be that great of a pvp farming one i mean a, a farming one so definitely a very good for pvp less so for farming for shark let's go move to angel dude it looks so cool look at that look at this bang yo -ho. bro what the frick is he doing right now dude oh my gosh bro what the frick is happening on roblox bro yo this is the most sus race awakening oh my gosh and it also does like aoe damage as well thing and you can also fly guys so you don't need a flying fruit anymore if you have angel look at those wings that looks super sick all right guys i hate to disrespect it but i definitely don't think people are gonna be rocking around with this the flying and stuff is dope but i definitely think people are gonna go for ghoul instead so i have to give it honestly like uh i'm, I'm gonna add another tier guys all right I, I definitely feel like it's a step above all right, it's a step above a lot of them, but I don't think people are going to rock with it. So I'm going to give it like an A+. plus. I'm going to give it A+, plus, guys. So it's still good. I just think you should probably go for something else. All right, next up we have Human. Human has this cool ability. Basically, the more damage you do to the enemy, the more you, like, it just keeps, it basically gives you like a rage meter. So you keep doing even more damage, which is actually really nice. So the damage just keeps going up and up and up, which is very, very nice. And he also has like this dash ability where you go invisible, which is also pretty cool as well. Definitely a pretty decent one. Um, honestly, I'd say I'd say it's actually pretty nice. Um, I don't know if I would go. I don't really know if I like it as much, but I think it's on par with a lot of the PvP ones. Um, I definitely think people are going to go for this one instead of Shark Man. So I'm going to give it like S tier for PvP. And then lastly, we have Mink, everybody's old favorite. All right, here we go. We got Mink. Let's go. Bang. Look at that. That's sick. That's sick. The thing here is it has adds like these tornado things when you dash doing a little bit of extra damage as well as you get super long dashes if you hold Q's. So look at this. Bang. Not bad. But yeah, that's all that one does. So honestly, guys, it is super fast, but it's also kind of mid in my opinion. I don't think people are going to rock with this one. I think they probably made it the worst out of all of these. So there you go.